Kuznets. Simon Smith Kuznets. Russian Semyon Abramovich Kuznets. April 30, 1901, July 8, 1985 was an American economist, statistician, demographer, and economic historian who received the 1971 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences for his empirically founded interpretation of economic growth, which has led to new and deepened insight into the economic and social structure and process of development. Kuznets made a decisive contribution to the transformation of economics into empirical science and to the formation of quantitative economic history. Biography. He was born of a Jewish family in Kharkov, located in Ukraine since the country's independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Kuznets studied in the second public school, taking primarily and secondary classes in 1915-1917. After the graduation, he enrolled at the University of Kharkiv. There he began to study economic and became exposed to Joseph Schumpeter's theory of innovation and the business cycle. In 1918, Kuznets entered the Kharkiv Institute of Commerce, where he studied economic sciences, statistics, history, and mathematics under the guidance of Professor P. Fomin, political economy, Ansifir of statistics, Levitsky economic history, and economic thought, Bernstein probability theory, Davats mathematics, and others. Basic academic courses at the institute helped him to acquire exceptional erudition in economics as well as in history, demography, statistics, and natural sciences. According to the institute curriculum, development of the national economies had to be analyzed in the wider context of changes in the connected spheres and with involvement of proper method and empirical data. At the turn of 1920-1921 years, the normal course in the institute was interrupted by the events of the civil war and the reorganization undertaken by the Soviet authorities in sphere of higher education. There is no precise information whether Kuznets contributed his studies at the institute, but it is known that he joined the Department of Labor of uh, UZHBURO, South Bureau of the Central Council of Trade Unions. There he published his first scientific paper, Monetary Wages and Salaries of Factory Workers in Kharkiv in 1920. He exposed, explored the dynamics of different types of wages by industries in Kharkiv and income differentiation depending on wage system. In 1922, the Kuznets family immigrated to the United States. Kuznets then studied at the Columbia University under the guidance of Westlake Claire Mitchell, he graduated with Bachelor of Sciences degree in 1923, Master of Administration in 1924, and Philosophical Doctor in uh, 1926. As his magister's thesis, he defended and the essay Economic System of Dr. Schumpeter presented and analyzed, written in Kharkiv. From 1925 to 1926, Kuznets spent time studying economic patterns and prices as research fellow at the Social Science Research Council. It was this work that led to the, his book Secular Movements in Production and Prices, defended as doctoral thesis and published in 1930. In 1927, he became a member of the research staff of the National Bureau of Economic Research, NBER, where he worked until 1961. From 19 1931 until 1936, Kuznets was a part-time professor at the University of Pennsylvania. He was elected to the P. Gamma Mu Social Science Honor Society chapter at the University of Pennsylvania and actively served as the chapter officer in 1940s, becoming a full-time professor 1936 until 1954. In 1954, Kuznets moved to John Hopkins University, where he was professor of political economy until 1960. From 1961 until his retirement in 1970, Kuznets taught at Harvard University. Apart from that, Kuznets collaborated with a number of research organizations and government agencies. In 1931-1934, at Mitchell's behest, Kuznets took charge of NBER work 
on U.S. national income accounts given the first official estimation of the U.S. national income. In 1936, Kuznets took the lead in establishing the Conference on Research Income and Wealth, which brought together governmental officials and academic economists engaged in the development of the U.S. national income and product accounts. And in 19 47 helped to establish its international counterpart, the International Association for Research on Income and Wealth. During the World War II, in 1942-1944, Kuznets became the Associate Director of the Bureau of Planning and Statistics War Production Board. He took part in works aimed to assess the capacity to expand military production. Researchers used national income accounting together with a raw form of linear programming to measure the potential for increased production and the sources from which it would come and to identify the materials that were binding constraints on expansion. After the war, he worked as an advisor for the government of China, Japan, India, Korea, Taiwan and Israel in the establishment of their national systems of economic information. Kuznets cooperated with the Growth Center of Yale University, the Social Science Research Council, SSRC. He guided extensive research holding a number of positions in research institutions such as Chairman of the Folk Project of Economic Research in Israel, 1953-1963, member of the Board of Trustees and Honorary Chairman Maurice Folk Institute for Economic Research in Israel from 1963 and Chairman Social Science Research Council comment on the economic of China 1961-1970. Kuznets was elected as the president of the Economic American Economic Association 1954, president of American Statistical Association 1949, a honorable member of the Association of Economic History, the Royal Statistical Society of England, and a member of the Econometric Society, the International Statistical Institute, the American Philosophical Society, the Royal Swedish Academy, a corresponding member of the British Academy. He was awarded the Medal of Francis Walker, 1977. Simon Kuznets died on July 8, 1985, at the age of 84. In 2013, the Kharkiv National University of Economics, where he studied in 1918-1921, was named after him. Simon Kuznets, Kharkiv National University of Economics. His work and its impact on economics. His name is associated with the information of the modern economic science, such as an empirical discipline, the development of statistical method of research, and the emergence of quantitative economic history. Kuznets is credited with revolutionizing econometrics, and this work is credited with fueling the so-called Keynesian revolution. The views and the scientific methodology of Kuznets were influenced by methodological settings researched by him in Kharkov and fully shared uh, by Mitchell for the statistical inductive construction of hypotheses in economics and its empirical testing. Kuznets treated a priori and speculative conception with deep skepticism. At the same time, Kuznets tended to analyze economy in connection with the wider context of historical situation, demographic, social processes that was peculiar to the Kharkov academics at the beginning of the 20th century. Kuznets was influenced by the work of such leading theorists as Joseph Schumpeter, who probed the relationship between technological change and business cycles, Pigot, who identified circumstances under which markets failed to maximize economic welfare, Wilfred Pareto, who propounded a law governing the distribution of income among households. Kuznets was closely familiar with the economics of Russia and Ukraine of the 20th century. In 1920s, he reviewed and translated the little-known in the West papers of Kondratiev, Slutsky, Pervushin, Weinstein. Historical series of economic dynamics and Kuznets cycles or long swings. The first major research project in which Kuznets was involved was the study of long series of economic dynamics in the USA, undertaken in the mid-1920s. 
The collected data covered the period from 1865 to 1925 and for some indices achieved 1770. Applying the statistical analysis um, of time series approximating Gumpert's and uh, logistic curves, Kuznets found that the characteristics of the curves with reasonable accuracy described the majority of economic processes. Fission trends curves to data and analysis of the time series comparison of uh, theoretical and empirical levels allowed him to identify medium-term extended cycles of economic activity which lasted 15-25 years and had an inter intermediate position between the Kondratiev loan waves and short business cycles. Aspiring to determine the nature of these cycles, Kuznets analyzed the dynamic of population, the construction industry, performance, capital, national income data, and other variables. This movement became known among economists and economic historians as Kuznets cycles, and alternatively as the long swings in the economy's growth rate following the work of Moses Abramovitz, 1912-1999. National income accounts. In 1931, at Mitchell's behest, Kuznets took charge of the NBER work on U.S. national income accounts. In 1934, an assessment of national income of the United States for the period of 1929-1932 was given. Further, it was extended to 1919 for the, uh, 1938 and then until 1869. Also, Kuznets was not first economist to try this. His work was so comprehensive and meticulous that it set the standard in the field. Kuznets had subjects to solve numerous problems ranging from lack of sources of information and bias assessment to the development of the theoretical concept of national income. Kuznets achieved a higher precision of calculations. His works allowed us to analyze the structure of the national income and expose to detailed study a number of specific problems of the national economy. Improved methods for calculating the national income and relating indicators have become classic and form the basis of the modern system of national accounts. Having analyzed the distribution of income among different social groups, Kuznets put forward the hypothesis that in countries which very on uh, the early stages of economic development, income inequality increased first, but as far as national economy was growing, it tended to decrease. This assumption formed the basis of so-called Kuznets curve, empirical conception. Kuznets helped the U.S. Department of Commerce to standardize the measurements of GNP. He disapproved, however, of its use as a gen general indicator of welfare, writing that the welfare of a nation can scarcely be inferred from a measure of national income. Exploring the formation of national income, Kuznets studied proportions between output and income, consumption and savings, etc. After analyzing the long-term data sets of economic conditions for 20 countries, Kuznets revealed long-term trends in capital output ratios, shares of net capital formation, net investments, and so on. Collected and systemized data allowed exposing to empirical testing a number of exciting hypotheses. In particular, this concerned premises on uh, Keynes' theory, Keynes' 1936, absolute income hypothesis. The hypothesis gave birth uh, to what would become the first formal consumption function. Uh, however, Kuznets shook the economic world by finding that uh, Keynes predictions, while seemingly accurate in short-run cross-section, broke down under more rigorous examination. In his 1942 tom, Uses of National Income in Peace and War, published by the National Bureau of Economic Research, Kuznets became the first economist to show that absolute income hypothesis gives an accurate prediction in the long run by using time series data. Keynes had predicted that an aggregate income increases, so will marginal savings. 
Kuznets used new data to show that over a long span of time, 1870s, 1940s, the savings ratio remained constant despite large changes in income. This paved the way for Milton Friedman's permanent income hypothesis and several more modern alternatives such as the life cycle hypothesis and relative income hypothesis. Economic growth. By the end of the Second War, Kuznets moved into a new research data related to the tie between changes in income and growth. He proposed research programs that involved extensive empirical studies on the four key elements of economic growth. In fact, the demographic growth, the growth of knowledge in country adaptation to growth factors and the external economic relations between the countries. The general theory of economic growth should explain the development of advanced industrial countries and uh, the reasons that prevent the development of backwards countries include both market and planet economies, large and small, developed and developing countries consider the impact of growth of foreign economic relations. He collected and analyzed statistical indicators of economic performance of 14 countries in Europe, the US the, and Japan for 60 years. Analysis of the materials led to the advancement of a number of hypotheses relating to various aspects of the mechanism of economic growth concerning the level and variability, uh, var variability of growth, a structure of GNP and uh, distribution of labor, the distribution of income between households, the structure of foreign trade. Kuznets founded the historically grounded theory of economic growth. The central theme of these empirical studies is that the growth of the aggregated product of the country necessarily, necessarily implies a profound transformation of the full of its economic structure. This transformation affects many aspects of economic life, the structure of production, sectorial and occupational structure of employment, the division of occupations among family and market activities, the income structure, size, age structure, and special distribution of population, cross-country flows of goods, capital, labor, and knowledge, the organization of industry, and governmental regulation. Such changes, in his opinion, are essential for overall growth and once started uh, shape constrain or support the subsequent economic development of the country. Kuznets made a profound analysis of the impact on economic growth by demographic processes and characteristics. His major thesis, which argued that underdeveloped countries of today possess characteristics different from those that industrialized countries faced before they developed, helped put an end to the simplistic view that all countries went through the same linear stages in their history and launched it as the separate field of development economics, which now focuses on the analysis of modern underdeveloped countries' distant experiences. Kuznets Kuru. Among his several discoveries which sparked important theoretical research programs was his discovery of the inverted U-shaped relation between income inequality and economic growth, 1955-1963. In poor countries, economic growth increased the income disparity between rich and poor people. In wealthy countries, economic growth narrowed the difference. By nothing patterns of income inequality in developed and underdeveloped countries, he proposed that uh, countries experienced economic growth, the income inequality first increases and then decreases. The reasoning was that in order to experience growth, countries had to shift from agricultural to industrial sectors. While there was little variation in the agricultural income, industrialization led to large differences in income. Additionally, as economies experienced growth, as economies experienced growth, mass education provided greater opportunity, which decreased uh, the inequality and the lower income portion of the population gained political power to change governmental policies. He also discovered the patterns in saving income behavior, which launched the life cycle permanent income hypothesis of Magigliani uh, and Friedman. 
historical and economic works of 1970s. In his historical and economic studies in, of 1970s, Kuznets expressed the idea of uh, interaction of science and technology, innovation and uh, institutional shift, as well as the role of external and to the economic factors, such as those caused by moral and political climate in society and those impact on the progress and results of economic growth. Kuznets was awarded by the Swedish Risk uh, Bank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel in 1971 for his empirically founded interpretation of economic growth, which had led to new and deepened insight into the economic and social structure and process of development. For more information on selected publication and uh, references, see the web page. Thank you.